Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. As Kithure Kindiki warms up to take the prestigious position of the deputy president, having been appointed by the president of Kenya, William Ruto, and consequently approved by the National Assembly, many people are warning Kithure Kindiki to go into that seat with one eye open, another one closed, because they're telling him, do not close your eyes. This is happening because we are in a country where betrayal is the order of the day. In fact, the only thing that people will do when you are uh, betrayed in our politics, they will sympathize with you. And that is all. Rigeti Gashagwa is now crying fall that he supported William Ruto wholeheartedly. He mobilized, he used his resources, he was used to to disrespect their Udamaki, Uhuru Kenyatta. And they were told Raila was bad and you know how he got into it with all his heart. And now he's saying, William Ruto is paying me in kind. In, in, in the Kiswahili word we say, Asante Yapunda ni mateke. That a donkey will reward you by kicking you after you've done everything good to them. Now one person who was not left out in trying to advise Kithure Kindiki is his brother, Mithika Linturi. Linturi contested to be a governor in, in Meru together with Kiraitu Murungi and they were defeated with the, by, by Kamira Mangaza. Then later, they joined the UDA and Kenya Kwanza they were the loyal soldiers of, uh, of, Uhuru King, of William Samoy Ruto. And he was subsequently appointed to be the CS in the Ministry of Agriculture. That docket was messed up, especially with the claims that fake fertilizer had gotten its way into the market. Mythical Inturi, instead of being humble, was chest thumping because he was being protected by the powers that be. He was being protected by William Samoy Ruto. And I remember at some point, together with the Tumbi, they were saying that those are Azimio bloggers, those are Azimio fake news. Back then, Raila, they did not know that Raila was warming up to be in the government. Now, Medical Nturi regrets that after Gen Z's went to the streets, he was removed from his docket and when William Ruto was reconstitu uh, reconstituting a new cabinet, he was not there. And he regrets one thing, how he wishes he knew he would have uh, penned pe a pen to paper with William Ruto. They went there as friends. And it's warning the new DP to be, to be very careful. I'm over the and because you know me, I'm jobless. And... I can tell you for free and without any fear, when you are making negotiations, when you are structured, you come out stronger, you are better, and you cannot easily be targeted. <coughs> and I will tell you how I regret today that, that today I regret, because, you know, I've been a politician for a long time. I have been. I'm a practicing one. And why I'm telling you we have to open up our, our eyes now because we do not want regrets in the future. That because, you know, well, we are very close to the president and you know the kind of war and the kind of push that we did. And you know, I've always been very firm in something that I believe in. next Uru Kenyatta, not to support William Ruto, I could attack Yongo and Damora, I don't care. Right? We'll go with William Ruto. When we went with William Ruto, we worked so hard, we got government, and the only thing I regret is that whenever Bondos was negotiating, using a political party, signing agreements, Gachawa and I said, no, let us proceed, we believe and we trust you. So, 
the reason why such advice is is really raising eyebrows is because of the timing you know he has been very quiet but now he's coming and he's even supporting Rigathi Geshagwa. He's saying Rigathi and he decided to support Willa Bhutto wholeheartedly without writing anything. And he's echoing the words of Rigathi Geshagwa who said that Musalam Dabadi, Moses Wetangula, Speaker Amazon Kingi, and all the other affiliate parties in the Kenya Kwanza signed a deal. But with them, they trusted William Ruto. They thought they were the founder members of the UDA because they are the wing that was plucked from Uhuru Kenyatta and they supported William Ruto. And now, that, that timing is what I'm telling you. That it's coming at a time when Rigedi Keshago is facing challenges. He's being uprooted. While he himself is now, he's now saying, I am jobless. And he's wondering, why were people like uh, Chirchir and Murkomen reinstated? Why? Because if there's there's one person who people never wanted was Chirchir, they were saying Chirchir had uh, mismanaged the energy sector where Pio and I is now. And Murkomen, apart from show, showcasing his opulence, the expensive watches and shoes, had messed up the transport docket. But they were reinstated because they are from Ruto's backyard. Now, now uh, Mithika Lentur is saying, why? And is supporting Rigedi Gashagwa. I'm wondering. It also means that not all males, if I may call them, are happy when when Kithuri Kendik is being given this docket docket because literally Kenturi stares very silently as Kithuri Kendik is being elevated and is wondering why am I out? And you know, this thing is coming is coming at a time when Kithuri knows very well that there is going to be a shake-up in the government. If Kithura Kendiki will succeed in being the deputy president, that position will remain vacant. I hear people say that maybe Kimani Chungwa will be transferred into that docket. Now, Mitika Linturi is campaigning here, and in a way he's telling William Ruto, we supported you wholeheartedly. If there is a vac the, the, if there is going to be a vacant seat, please remember I am here, we supported you, so consider me. He's also throwing his weight behind Gedi Shagwa and he's telling William Ruto, please, Rigedi Shagwa supported you just like I supported you and please don't do this to him. To Kithura Kendiki, right now it is his moment and he's very much overwhelmed. Even though he looks sober, he's going into that docket. If at all, he will be allowed to be in that docket. But he's being told, don't be too excited. Because when you go there, William Ruto has a crafted plan. This is my personal opinion and I believe that William Ruto is hell-bent in dismantling the unity of Mount Kenya because he, the unity of Mount Kenya threatens his future politics. He has had this, he has harbored that, that scheme for some time. So that's why he was saying, Kama mnafikiri mkona shida na wakikuyu, sisi tukona shida kuliko nyinyi. Lakini, sazangine, Unacha tofauti kando, unachukua serikali kwanza, diofanya nini udinao. He was simply saying that if you think that you have a problem, I think he was, uh, he was addressing some people who are like, they had a problem with Mount Kenya people. And he was telling them, if you think that you've got a problem with Mount Kenya, we, the Kalenjins, have got a bigger problem. But we have to lie low, then see how we can get into government. Once we are in that government and we are controlling everything, we will know how to deal with them. And that statement has come true. He's really dealing with them by, you know, divide and rule. So Keturah is being told he's next in line. And I think what will happen, you know, Keturah Kendiki was, is the one that was voted to deputy as William Samuel Ruto. But when William Ruto picked Rigadi Shagwa, something tells me William Ruto knew very well that I'm only going to allow Rigadi to do two years and then Keturah to do the other two or three, three, three years. And then everyone shall have been paid 
because come 2027 William Ruto will neither pick Kithure nor Kimani Chungwa nor whoever he is done with Mount Kenya trust me William Ruto is looking to the west Nyanza western the coast those areas that Raila used to control because this merger is one that is going to mess up Kenya further. So if there is any leader from Mount Kenya who is being used to betray a brother, people like Kimani Chungwa, Ann Waiguru, maybe Kithuri Kindika and all those, let them be very careful and they are being warned, it is not going to end well. So for Kithuri Kindiki, please take a break, learn. When you get that opportunity, be sober, don't throw words, don't, don't chest thump, don't let power get into your head. And that is the warning. And Mr. Galenturi is saying, if it is possible, please sign. Because if you mess around, it will be easy. Parliament will be instigated against you. They will throw you out. And then that will be the end of you. Like Mr. Galenturi now saying, I am jobless. You know? So the, there's a thin line between being a state officer that especially when your fate depends on the appointment of the of the of the president you can wake up and find that you are jobless huh? and this regret and the warning goes directly to kithuri kindiki many people have told, have told him you you your your neck has been placed on the chopping board and sooner than soonest we might see you crying the same way regardless is now crying.